Hello and welcome. This is a demonstration of the Thermit reaction. This involves aluminium reacting with iron oxide in a very exciting and vigorous manner. Um, obviously these weights we've had to take from uh, clips and the fuse mixture consists of some barium peroxide, 1.7 grams, mixed in with some magnesium powder, 0.2 grams. So I've just mixed this up into that small container there. Um, a good bit of advice is to actually make sure, once you've mixed all these chemicals together, to actually move them well away from where the thermic reaction is going to take place. As I found out one year, uh, sparks going into the magnesium powder uh, tends to lead to a more exciting <laughs> reaction. So, we've got aluminium and iron oxide. They've been mixed together in a ratio of 1 to 3. We've got 5 grams of aluminium and 15 grams of the iron oxide. Uh, that is the maximum amount allowed by Kleeps and obviously that is the amount I'm going to use. The best uh, type of container to put it in is one of these small clay pots and we simply put the material in and over the years it seems to work better if you Get another little clay pot and you just give it a good pack down. Gently tapping it down. The mixture like so. Then add the rest. it down so it's quite tight. Uh, what we then do is to make a small gap in the middle of the mixture for a spatula and then we get some of the fuse mixture here and we gently try and feed that into the opening we've just made. Again, let's put that simple pack down. The actual reaction then is going to be kick started by a strip of magnesium ribbon. Obviously the length of the magnesium determines how much time you've got before you have to move away from the thermic reaction. So tend to find that sort of length saves so my fingers. There we go. Now we're going to use a sand tray to carry out the reaction and I usually just stand this on a tripod and make sure you've got plenty of heat proof mats around the, the desk and the tabletop to make sure you don't leave um, any unwanted burn marks all over the place. If it's demonstrating this in front of class you need to make sure that you've got a safety screen in front as well and the students are well back. Uh, also the students would have to be wearing safety specs for this demonstration. So, without any further ado, let's slide the to burn. The other useful little thing you can do to make it a bit more exciting is to turn out the lights.
And at the end of the reaction, obviously the kids are quite keen to see what's going on, see the malt and I. Uh, invest in a pair of these wonderful welders gloves from B&Q. Save your fingers. <laughs>